Hello everyone, it's Stacy from Head to Heels, and I'm here today to paint my toenails. So for painting my toes, I've chosen OPI Nail Lacquer, and the color is Romantically Involved. Woo! And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my toes for you. I am very bad at this. Got my trusty box, because I'm old. And Getting older. I like to start with my pinky toe and work my way back so that I'm not putting my hands in the fresh paint. Aren't I a genius? I figured it out on my own. I swear I didn't watch a YouTube video about it. One coat done. I only ever paint my toenails red. I do my fingernails crazy all the time. I got watermelons on this hand and pineapples and a pineapple in the thong on this hand, but always just red toes. I love red toes. What's your favorite color? for toenail polish and why what color do you find or what brand of nail polish do you find covers best and wears well on your toes that's what i want to know because this stuff chips within like a day or two and like i've tried putting gel polish on my toenails because that's what i use on my fingers but it hurts my toenails after a while am i the only one anybody else have that problem and actually the last time I went for a professional pedicure the woman got sharp with me because I didn't want the gel she was pushing hard for the gel I think I might have been her last client she didn't want to wait for the nail polish to dry so she was pushing gel on me and I was just like no 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 and then she reluctantly lacquered my toes and then I got up in the chair and those funky flip-flops they give you and I tripped over them and smeared like half of this foot so she had to repaint them uh -huh. I would have felt bad about that had she not been so forceful with the gel polish even though I told her no And likewise, so I don't get my hand in it, I'm starting on my big toe and working my way over this way. I find it easy, and this is a trick I learned doing my nails. Just put a little bit on your brush, flatten the brush onto the toenail, and then push up until you hit your cuticle. And that way you have less of a chance of getting it all over your toe. And just do it gently. You don't have to like pile drive it in there. Make sure you get your edges, the corners of your nails. All right. And then I'll do some foot play while we're waiting for it to dry.
They appear to be dry enough for the second coat. Let's get the trusty box back here. Once again, starting from the pinky and working our way across. The pinky toe. I'm sitting here wondering if uh, my toes, like if I adjusted the gel as a top coat, a gel top coat rather than like two layers of gel polish and a top coat, um, that might work and that would definitely help preserve the paint from chipping. So I think I'm going to go for it. So after this coat, I'm going to, for the very first time ever, I'm going to put a clear gel top coat on my tootsies not the first time ever but just the first time without like polish and stuff too so what i think is happening is all the layers of gel polish because it's so strong uh, my toenails are pushing against the tops of my shoes and that's what's really sensitive is my toenails mostly my big toe that gets really sore when i wear gel polish on my toes. <laughs> my core and toes, I get a little fuzz, sorry. Alright, and while these are drying, I'm going to go get my UV lamp and my clear coat. Heat lamp is all set up. Uh, well, it's a UV lamp, it's not a heat lamp. I got it about two years ago, actually two years, probably this week or last week or something. And I have had no problems with it. I got it on Amazon. It's the Micro Pure. I am in no way endorsed by these people or being paid to say anything, but for an affordable UV light, it's been really great. And I've got my gelish top it off for my clear coat. I hope this works. Maybe should I do, maybe I'll do one foot. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do one foot in the gel and one foot in the regular top coat and for my non-gel top coat i've got c and d super shiny high gloss top coat <whistles> so put that right there Okay, so it appears this foot here, the gel top coat, is dry and ready to paint. Awesome thing about gel polish is in 30 seconds it's cured and dried and you can go about your day. That's where, like me and nail polish, regular nail polish, don't get along because I'm... I don't really sit still and I'm very forgetful so 
I'll get up to do something with my wet nails, forgetting that I have wet nails, basically. Something that I likely forgot to do earlier in the day. I don't want to flood the nail. So do be mindful of what you put on the brush. 30 seconds. I'll stir it on the other toe while that's finishing up. If I can get this open, oh my god! Alright. I got it, I got it. Oh, I just stopped just so before. Boop, boop. Dry, ready to go, ready to wear. And for fairness sake, I'm going to just do one coat of each type. So I'm going to check back as these wear and we'll do like a little montage video, I guess. And I'm not going to post anything until the first chip. So likely within a couple of days on this. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Stacy from Head to Heels. It's uh, day three for my nail polish experiment. If you recall, I used OPI nail lacquer on my toes, and then one toe I've topped off with, or one foot I topped off with a gel UV polish, and the other toes I topped off with a lacquer gel polish just to see how it would go. Now I mentioned, I mentioned uh, that typically if I do a full gel polish set on my toes, my nails will become very, very sensitive. Um, I know it's a little bit sensitive, but yesterday I was also on my motorcycle for like five hours and my feet were pretty much like that the whole time because of the stance I hold. But also, notably, there's a crack on that big toe there. And then on this toe, you'll see, or foot, you'll see regular lacquer polish with a lacquer top coat and it seems to be holding up just fine. So this is day three. Here we are on day five of my nail painting experiment. Uh, looks like my regular nail lacquer with top coat worked better than the regular nail lacquer with a gel top coat. So there you go. I guess I'll stick to doing it the good old fashioned way. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And if you'd like to see more, uh, head over to Instagram and Reddit. <laughs> and if you want to support me, I have an Amazon wishlist and Patreon page and the links for those are below. Thank you. Bye.